Good morning, everyone. This is not going to be your typical video for our Beautiful Soul series. I just wanted to let you guys know, last night I found out that a bunch of my ICLC videos mysteriously disappeared off of my channel. At first, I thought it was a glitch, and then I thought maybe YouTube removed it. So I tried to dig and find out some information. But apparently, if YouTube removes a video, they let you know. They don't just remove the whole video. You'll have like a blank space inside of where that video once was. So I don't believe it was YouTube. And I saw the pattern of how the videos were removed. So basically, all of my videos I did in July completely gone. All my July videos are gone and I have like a huge gap from when I first started making the videos to now. None of the Beautiful Soul videos were removed and the only videos that were removed were the ones that had more views that were ranked higher on the search engine so when you type it in it will come up on like the first page of ICOC cult. And those videos were taken away. So that leads me to believe just one thing, which is that some hater out there who um, got their feelings all caught up and all butthurt stole my videos and didn't like the fact that I'm posting stuff about the ICOC. That's the only thing I could think of. I don't know if my channel was hacked. Um... I'm going to try to get in contact with YouTube. It's kind of difficult getting in contact with them. So I'm going to get in contact with YouTube because I don't want this to be a repetitive thing. But I am the type of person that if someone tries to stop me from doing something that I feel is right, they're only adding more fuel to the fire. I'm not going to back down. I'm just going to keep on going. So I was really pissed off when this happened. The way that I actually found out was crazy because this has actually been happening for quite a while now. A friend of mine went on my channel and was like, Where's your part two video for your cult? And I'm just like, it's in there. Go look. And he's like, how you got a part one, but you don't have a part two? And I'm like, no, I got a part two and a part three. So I look on my channel. I'm like, what the hell? I'm missing part two and part three. But I wasn't just missing part two and part three. I counted. I'm missing between nine and 12 videos. I save all of my videos onto my laptop. But the part two ICOC code experience video, I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know if I accidentally deleted it when I first put it up. But it's not even on my laptop. So that one I'm going to have to do over. That one I'm really frustrated about because I really wanted to record those initial feelings I was feeling when I first made those videos. Those are videos where I got emotional. That was a time in my life where I was very hurt and I was still dealing with a lot of pain from the ICOC. Honestly, all last night, that completely threw my entire night off. I was so mad. I was angry. I put a lot of work into these videos. They seem very simple. I just sit here and talk to the camera, but then I got to edit and sometimes when I do the video, the original video is super long. I have to jump cut and edit a lot. If you guys see any videos that seem like repeats, those are the videos that were removed and those are videos that I'm putting back. I don't want to make any assumptions as to who the douchebag is that took my videos. I know it's not a damn glitch. It's too much of a coincidence that the only videos that were removed were the ones that had the more views, the ones that more people like to watch that were ranked and that people search for on the search engines. However, I know that whoever went and took the time out of their pathetic little lives to steal my videos were someone or people who just can't take the truth but that's not going to stop me. I don't make these videos to hurt anyone. I don't make these videos as a source of revenge. I don't make these videos because I'm a hurt ex-ICOC member who's still dealing with bitterness and still dealing with anger and, and heart issues, issues in my heart. None of that bull crap. I don't make these videos because Satan got into my life and I became worldly. None of that bull crap. I make these videos specifically because there's way too many people out there who's hurt. There are way too many people out there 
who are dealing with the pain, way too many people out there hiding who are afraid. By removing my videos is not going to stop the real core issue at hand. This church needs to change a lot of their ways. I don't care how nice people think that their ICOC church that they're attending is. There are way too many people out there, way too many freaking people who are coming to me, telling me all the stuff that they're going through, telling me how hurt they came out, and who's helping them? Who in the ICOC is out there helping them? In the International Church of Christ, you, church, who is helping them? Because I don't see anyone helping them. No one helped me. And that's not a lie. Everything that I speak on is purely my own experience. I will never tell anybody not to join the church. I will never tell anybody you must leave the church. I will only tell you what I went through to help you make the decision and to help you and warn you and let you know this is what you may be walking into. So even though there are those out there that say that they had a great experience and they're members and oh well I don't go through that. That's cool. But there are also a million of people who do go through it. And I know there's a million more out there. I have 136 subscribers. I know I have way more people out there that are going through it that are not subscribed to me. Don't get it twisted. Just because you see my views and they're not extremely high, just because you see my subscriber count and it's not extremely high, does not mean there's many more people out there. I don't do this for the views. I don't do this for the subs. I do this to help people because when I needed somebody, I didn't feel like there was anybody out there helping me because that's just the type of person I am. I don't like to see other people hurt people. I don't like to see people going through stuff and other people just turn their back and make excuses for it and be like, oh no, that's because you got heart issues, because you got pride and all this bull crap. Let's just end all the bull crap. It's not the truth. It's a lie. And whoever tells you that you got heart issues and this and that and all this crap is lying because that's all they want to say because they don't know how to just get to the main issue. They don't want to address the problem is them. It's not you. And this is not uh, attack. This is not me getting mad at all of the ICOC. This is me feeling really freaking fed up and tired of the excuses. Someone have put on my timeline how people leave the ICOC because they're hurt and all the stupidness and because they're just bitter and they don't want to accept the truth. You have no idea how tired I get of hearing that. Like, that's so stupid, it doesn't even make sense. If there was no problem with the church, why would anyone even go on Google or go on YouTube to try to search up this information? It makes no freaking sense. So clearly, clearly, there is a major issue. I'm not saying I can solve all the world's biggest issues. All I'm saying is that if I can help even a few people, 136 people, I'm going to do that. That's just what I'm going to do because that's who I am. That's what makes me feel like is my purpose for living. It's to help other people. There you go. I had to let that out because let me tell you, you put all this work and energy into making videos and creating stuff and helping other people and someone comes and takes it. I'm getting pissed off. It's crazy. It just doesn't make no sense to me. But anyway, guys, this week, I'm going to be having videos so you can binge on them if you want to, share them. Let's get it back out there. Get these videos out there. They take it down. We put them back up. It's not no problem. It's whatever. I will get back to the Beautiful Soul series, hopefully starting next week. I'm going to always come for you guys with the best content that I possibly can come with. And email me down in the description box below if you need any advice, if you need any help, or if you just want to vent, join the Facebook group, Beautiful Souls. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate those of you who watch the videos. I appreciate those of you who watch, who are um, a part of the Facebook group. And I'm sorry you guys have to listen to my rant, but this is what happens when you're on YouTube. All right, but I love you guys all so much, and I will see you soon. Rock.